Today, China is known for having one of the fastest growing economies in the world. However, China also is home to some of the oldest written records in history. And that's not all, some pretty astounding things have turned up here recently that are turning heads around the world. From 3D billboards to buses that literally cruise above traffic, mirrors that are magic to cities floating in the clouds, 15 shocking things recently discovered in China. Mystery Goo What do you call a white, foamy, foul-smelling goo that randomly spews from the ground? A lot of people had ideas, including a celebrity. U.S. comedian Jon Stewart didn't have an actual answer, but he recently brought attention to the strange occurrence in Nanjing, in eastern China, on his late-night program. His comedy bit comes from photos that emerged recently of the mysterious white goo that had oozed out of the street. Things may be bad, but at least our streets don't burp mystery goo, the satirist said on the segment, joking about the ooze. Apparently, the street cracked open and it just started to spill out. The foam, which some described as marshmallow-like, spread to a radius of over 100 feet in the middle of the road and released a putrid smell. It had everyone asking, what is this stuff? City authorities didn't have definitive answers either of what the substance was or where it came from, but they said it was caused by subway construction underground. The area was blocked off and the ooze was washing into the sewers. What was left eventually receded back into the crack. Firefighters arrived and finished the job. Hey, hey, did you know that if you smash the like button, subscribe and click the notification bell, you're more likely to win the lottery? So what are you waiting for? Mysterious Crevice Building A five-story building inside a cave has recently drawn public attention after drone footage of it was circulated on social media. What could it be? Who could possibly live here? No, it's not a top-secret government operation or a portal to another dimension. It has something specific to do with the ecosystem in this part of China. The building was a breeding base for the Chinese giant salamander and was approved by local agricultural authorities when the county had a vigorous expansion in the Chinese giant salamander breeding industry. The Chinese giant salamander is the world's largest amphibian growing up to four feet long with a large tail comprising almost 60% of its body length. It's even been reported in 1983 that a 10-foot salamander was purchased at a local market in China. The Chinese giant salamander is under immense threat of extinction due to habitat loss, water pollution, and over-exploitation of wild populations. Despite the establishment of commercial farming of the salamanders across China, it's thought the majority of individuals being traded are taken from the wild. The Chinese giant salamander requires a lot of water and likes to live in streams and caves, so the plant in a crevice was built here for that reason. <laughs> the Beishin Broadcasting Wall is, in a nutshell, a loudspeaker in Jinning Township, Kinmen Republic of China. The structure was built in 1967 as a physiological warfare instrument directed towards mainland China. The broadcast wall used to be a strategic military stronghold that played a key role in sonic warfare across the straits, blasting out anti-communist propaganda. The structure consists of 48 speakers which face the ocean. It stands at a height of around a three-story building, and it was used until the late 1970s. Material such as anti-war songs and speeches inviting enemy soldiers to defect were played through the loudspeakers. Retaliatory speakers also broadcast messages from the other side of the strait. Until it was taken off duty in the 1970s, the mega megaphone was used to holler anti-communist messages across the Taiwan Strait from Kinmen into China. When it's turned up full blast, the sounds the station makes can be heard up to 15 miles away. Indeed, that was the point. China and Taiwan have long had a contentious relationship as both sides claim sovereignty over the nation. In the 1950s, this contention repeatedly erupted into violence, much of which took place in and around this propaganda speaker. <laughs> Traffic Busting Bus when a video of a mini model of this so-called transit elevated bust gliding over cars on the road hit the internet, it caused great excitement. China unveiled a futuristic straddling bus that's capable of driving over other cars stuck in nightmarish traffic jams which have become notorious in many cities. Its passenger compartment rises far above other vehicles on the road, allowing cars to pass underneath which will largely increase the utilization of road space. 
With a carrying capacity of 1,200 people at a time, the TEB has the same functions as the subway, while its cost of construction is less than one-fifth that of the subway. Nicely done! The prototype that was deployed on the streets of a northeastern city east of Beijing ran along a thousand-foot strip of controlled track. The bus spans the width of two traffic lanes and rides along two tracks laid on the edges of the two lanes attaining speeds of up to 35 miles an hour, allowing cars to comfortably pass under it. The transit elevated bus can not only avoid traffic congestion but also reduce it since a lot of jams are caused by regular buses loading and unloading at bus stops. Passengers on board the bus are expected to experience a ride comparable to riding in the upper level of a double-decker bus. <laughs> Two-sided embroidery. In this remarkable video, one artisan embroiders a dog on one side, the other creates a monkey on the other. This art form originated in China about 2,000 years ago. Double-sided embroidery, also known as two-faced embroidery, is a technique in which stitching takes place on both sides of transparent silk fabric. The design shows on both sides. Looking at it, you can't really tell which side is in the front or the back. The embroidery artist always works on the same side of the background. Even though the picture on the other side may be entirely different, they must keep both images in mind, which requires intense concentration. When embroidering areas that are the same color on both sides, the artist uses one threaded needle to do both sides at once. When doing areas that are differently colored on each side, the artist uses two needles threaded with different colors, and it's extremely difficult to make a double-sided embroidery with the same designs but different colors. As to the double-sided embroidery with the two different images on both sides, the technique and skill seem a mystery, and only a very few master embroidery artists know how to achieve it, and these folks are clearly mastering it. <laughs> Frozen Waterfall Apartments you may have seen several architecturally designed waterfalls in different buildings around the world. However, this waterfall is an abandoned building is something else completely. The video shows a frozen waterfall that spreads over a tall abandoned building in China, and the visuals look quite stunning. A pipe leak caused the waterfall, starting from a window or balcony, going all the way down to the ground. The entire waterfall is completely frozen. Several locals from around the area dropped by the building to check out the ice wonderland. Apparently, it had water leaking inside it, but people only noticed the issue when the water froze over and spilled out the side. It grabbed everyone's attention. Net users expressed an extraordinary interest at the frozen waterfall, quickly conquered social media and news applications, in particular just how cold Northeast China really gets. Some compared it to a fridge when the ground floor, first floor, second floor, and third floors are a freezer and the top two floors are the refrigerator. The frozen waterfall even drew appeal as an official tourism site, but thankfully nobody lived in the building. <laughs> Ultraman Billboard Ultraman, also known as the Ultra Series, is the collective name for all media produced featuring this comic hero, his many brethren, and the myriad Ultra Monsters. And this 3D billboard is out of this world amazing. Billboards have been used in advertising for years. It's highly effective in building brand awareness and getting a higher reach for the product, offering a visual experience. The latest billboard technology, 3D digital billboards like this, offer even greater benefits. They create a memorable visual experience for the audience. By combining billboard advertising with 3D technology, the end result is more immersive and engaging. Similar to billboards, they can be displayed on multiple mediums. However, compared to unconventional billboards, the marketing with these billboards is more effective, and judged by the Ultraman billboard, we're sold. Debuting in 1966, Ultraman is one of the most popular superheroes in Asia. The Ultraman brand generated 7.4 billion US dollars in merchandising revenue from 1966 to 1987, equivalent to more than 17 billion dollars today. This 3D billboard can only help make it even more successful, taking Ultraman into the future. <laughs> Magic Mirrors If you love weird, random objects that do very cool things, then you'll love this. Ever seen what's known as a Chinese Magic Mirror? The first recorded instance of them seems to date back to around 200 BC in China. These mirrors, made of polished bronze, have a design on the back. It looks just like an ordinary bronze mirror. However, if the sun shines on its face and the reflected light is projected onto a wall, one can see the patterns and inscriptions on the back of the mirror appear in the projection as if through magic. Numerous scholars have tried
tried to solve the mystery of the mirror, it was only in the past 20 years that scientists finally managed to solve the mystery. The mirrors are cast, poured as a liquid into a mold, and the thicker parts and thinner parts cool at different rates. Because metal slightly contracts as it cools, the different rates of cooling stress or deform the metal just a bit. Thinner areas are also more flexible than thicker ones, and so the polishing process, which should smooth metal until it's uniform, exaggerates the slight differences in thickness. Although we can't see the slight pattern on the mirror surface, photons can pick it up very clearly, so when they're allowed to bounce off the curves of the mirror, a pattern emerges. <laughs> Mount Fanjing these Buddhist temples date back over 500 years to the Ming Dynasty, although they've since been rebuilt using sturdier materials. It gets quite windy at the top, but it's worth a trip. This jaw-dropping spire is called Red Cloud's Golden Summit and sits on a ridge on Mount Fanjing, an otherworldly UNESCO World Heritage Site in China's Wuling Mountain Range. The rocky peak is known for its unique tropical ecosystem and magnificent biodiversity with 800 plant species, from the beautiful dove tree and Chinese tulip tree to the golden monkeys unique to the area, Mount Fanjing bursts with wildlife. The fact that these twin temples were built was nothing short of a miracle. They're perched atop a 330-foot tall column of rock over 7,600 feet above sea level, separated by a crevice that's spanned by a bridge. It's an important landmark for Buddhists as they believe it's the place where the Maitreya Buddha found enlightenment. Some, we suspect, half expect to find a Jedi in hiding at the top. To reach the temples, visitors must climb over 8,800 steps, which takes around four hours. Unsurprisingly, these incredible temples and the breathtaking landscape around them lure tourists in from all over the world. <laughs> Criminal piglets. Technically, they're not actual criminals, but police did have to interview when this happened. Traffic police found themselves in an unfamiliar position recently when a truck carrying piglets overturned on the motorway, forcing them to try and retrieve the animals from the road. And clearly, they're outnumbered. As you would expect, things didn't go swimmingly, with the officers in southwest China struggling to herd the hogs back into a transport vehicle. The men were overwhelmed by the animals, who managed to evade them at every turn. The traffic police were no match for their agenda as they struggle to keep up with these criminal piglets. A domestic pig can run at speeds of around 30 miles an hour, and wild pigs can run even faster. Eventually, the men did manage to get the animals under control, but it was due to luck rather than skill. After trying to catch the agile little animals, officers eventually succeeded when they took shelter in the shade of a rescue truck. When a call comes over the police car radio mentioning pigs in a highway, you know this is not going to be a regular day on the job. Thankfully, no pigs and no humans were harmed in this highway rescue. <laughs> Ghost City A strange mirage depicting a group of buildings was seen above the sea along a port in northeast China recently. Seen from the land, it appeared as though the buildings were looming in the fog, resembling a city in the sky floating above the sea. Theories about what it could be ranged from a parallel universe portal to a hologram deliberately put into the sky to an alien invasion, but it's actually a natural phenomenon. The ghost city apparition is a natural mirage or optical illusion called a Fata Morgana. The atmospheric conditions have to be just right. It starts with a cold air mass close to the ground or surface of the water that's topped by a warm layer of air higher in the atmosphere. Rays of light passing through the warm and cool air masses are bent strangely, and that's what makes the mirage appear, like this city in the sky. It's a type of mirage, one that's normally associated with the open ocean, but can also be seen at times on land. Fata Morgana is responsible for all kinds of unusual sightings, from mountains in the middle of the ocean to ships that appear to be flying. However, critics of these theories aren't convinced, saying they're all mirages, including Fata Morgana, can only appear very close to the horizon line. No mirage can extend thousands of feet up. This one does. <laughs> Dinosaur Embryo Researchers have discovered many ancient dinosaur eggs and nests over the past century, but this embryo is one of a kind. This skeleton is not only complete from the tip of the snout to the end of its tail, it's curled in a life pose within its egg, the perfect specimen. It's one of the best preserved dinosaur embryos ever reported in science. It's come a long way, about 70 million years ago. 
A wee ostrich-like dinosaur wriggled inside its egg, putting itself into the best position to hatch, but it never did. The embryo died and remained in its egg for tens of millions of years until researchers found its fossilized remains recently in China. This curled up pose is what interests researchers. Living bird embryos are known to move into the best position, known as tucking behaviors, to help them hatch from their eggs, but these behaviors had never been documented in dinosaurs until now. Previously considered unique to birds, this tucking may be rooted more deeply in dinosaurs many tens or hundreds of millions of years ago. In essence, birds inherited these pre-hatching behaviors from their dinosaur ancestors, and this discovery strengthens our understanding of the close evolutionary relationship between dinosaurs and birds. <laughs> Great Slide of China The Great Wall of China, one of the seven wonders of the world, is the longest man-made structure ever built. The almost 5,600-mile-long wall snakes across the mountains of northern China. They say it would take around 18 months to walk it in its entirety, and getting to the summit is always worthwhile. Fortunately, there are easier ways to make your way back than on foot. You can slide down the Great Wall of China in around two minutes, depending on how much you break. At a well-preserved stretch of the Great Wall, 56 miles north of Beijing, a toboggan run descends from the top of the wall, covering one mile and taking in valley views and winding sections through the forest. This is a good place to get a sense of the Great Wall. It's quieter than some other sections, but it's still well set up for visitors with a cable car, chairlift, and shuttle buses to ferry people to the fortification itself, plus a good number of places to eat. A walk along the wall offers close-up views of watchtowers towers and lovely mountain vistas, so why not return to the base by zooming down a steep, zigzagging slide with views of the Great Wall along the way. It may not have been what the Ming Dynasty planned when they built this great fortification, but it sure is fun. Cockroach Farm We're bugging out. Expanding Chinese cities are generating more food waste than they can accommodate in landfills. And believe it or not, cockroaches could be a way to get rid of hills of food scraps, providing nutritious food for livestock when the bugs eventually die and some say cures for stomach illness and beauty treatments. In the near pitch dark, you can hear them before you see them. Millions of cockroaches scuttling and fluttering across stacks of wooden boards as they devour food scraps by the ton in a novel form of urban waste disposal. The air is warm and humid, just as cockroaches like it, to ensure the colonies keep their health and voracious appetites. Over a billion cockroaches are being fed with 50 tons of kitchen waste a day, the equivalent in weight to seven adult elephants. The waste arrives before daybreak at the plant run where it's fed through the pipes to cockroaches in their cells. Cockroach breeding facilities have become a booming industry in China. Reports of breeding farms in China first surfaced in 2013. At the time, there were 100 cockroach farms in the country, and farmers could make $20 a pound for selling them. Today, the roach business is booming. Live crabs in a vending machine With vending machines around the globe spitting out fishing bait, bread in a can, hardcover books, french fries and mayonnaise, and other questionable products, it should come as no surprise that China has a vending machine for crabs. A machine that sells live, fresh crabs. The machine is loaded with hairy crabs, a delicacy in these parts. The dispenser maintains the perfect temperatures to keep the crabs in a hibernation state without killing them. If a customer receives a dead crab from the vending machine, the company even compensates the unhappy customers with three live ones. Most of us are guilty of hunting down a vending machine when we're in need of a snack, and nowadays, these gadgets can stock a range of goods. But could you ever imagine these machines would also dispense live seafood? Customers deposit their cash and select the most fetching crab, then retrieve it from the machine's bottom and take it home to cook. The man responsible for bringing the crab a mate to the eastern Chinese city of roughly 9 million residents operates a seafood shack next door. He shills crabs by the day, but wanted to give nocturnal seafood fans an opportunity to indulge themselves, and vending machine crabs became a thing. Considering how far back ancient China culture goes, these videos only scratch the surface of the shocking things found here over the years. But it certainly makes this country a lot more interesting. So like and subscribe if you agree, and stick around for more great videos.